Today we're going to be taking a look at how to subtract numbers by estimating. So let's take a look at our first example. We're going to estimate 358 take away 78. Now we're going to have to remember our rounding rules to be able to do this. The first thing that we need to do is we need to round each of these numbers to the nearest 10 before we subtract them. So if we take a look at the first number, 358, we round him to the nearest 10, so we notice our 5 is in the tens place, we will get 360 because we need to round up. Now with 78, we're going to take a look, our 7 is in the tens place, and so this is going to be rounded up as well according to our rounding rules that we would have learned previously. And so when we round up, we find that we have an 80. And so now it's going to look like this. We're going to have 360 take away 80. So our answer is approximately 280. Notice that we have an approximate sign there, and it's not an equal sign because we're estimating and we're not finding the exact answer. We're finding an estimate. Let's take a look at one more example. Now we're going to take a look at 799 take away 61. We're going to find out what our estimate is for this. So once again, we're going to have to use our rounding rules. And what we want to do is round each of these once again to the nearest 10 before subtracting it. So if we take a look at 799 and try to round this to the nearest 10, what we're going to end up with is 800. And that's going to take away 61. And so if we round 61, we need to round down for that. And so we will have a 60. So it's going to look like this. So round up for 799 to 800, round down for 61. We have 800 minus 60, which is approximately, so it gives us approximate answer of 740. We're going to use a similar process to try and estimate when we do addition. Now we follow the same process. We estimate our numbers and then we add the estimates together to find out approximately how much we're going to end up with. Now for this particular uh, example, why don't we try rounding to the hundreds place. When we were doing subtraction, we practiced with rounding to the tens. So here in our example, we're going to practice rounding to the hundreds place. So we're going to take a look at 949, and we're going to round that to the nearest hundred, which would be 900. And if we round 383 to the nearest hundred, we'll end up with 400. And so uh, it will look like this. We round down for 949, round up for 383, and we end up with 900 plus 400. We add those together, it gives us 1,300. And so our approximate answer for 949 plus 383, it is approximately equal to 1,300. Let's try one more example with our addition. We're going to estimate 788 plus 785. Once again, we're going to practice rounding to the nearest, nearest hundreds place. So if we take a look at 788, we're going to round that to the nearest hundred, which is 800, and we're going to add uh, the estimate of 785, which is also going to be 800. So we are going to round up for 788 to 800 and round up for 785 to 800. We add the two of those together, we end up with 1,600. So 788 plus 785 is approximately equal to 1,600.